so moving further we are going to study the proof of uh, sin theta by theta is equals to 1 or uh, limit as extending to 0 sin x by x is 1 so basically in this uh, whole procedure this diagram is very very important if you understand the diagram very clearly it becomes very easy to solve the problem so let's see how this diagram comes first okay so first we are going to consider a unit circle with center as o and first radius o a okay and we are going to consider a second radius o c and we are going to drop a perpendicular from the point c to, uh, to the radius o a that is point d now extend the line a so that it reaches the point b now join c b so this is how this diagram comes an additional construction is there that is join ac join ac so this diagram you are going to get and the angle between the two radius that is oa and oc is x so here x is in radians so now let's proceed to the further part that is we are going to now prove this theorem that is limit of x by x limit is x tending to 0 sin x by x is equals to 1 so for that what we are going to consider is now we will understand how this next part comes so now we are going to consider area area of triangle OAC so area of triangle OAC area of sector OAC and area of triangle OAB okay so basically what I did was I considered the three areas that were important for the proof that is triangle OAC triangle OAC sector OAC and triangle OBA or OAB so these three areas I have considered so now the relation between these areas is they are less than each other they are less than you can uh, clearly observe it from the diagram that is area of this triangle is less than this sector this is less than this triangle so this is how we are going to solve this okay so now just for a quick reminder I have given you formulas also here so area of triangle is what half base into height so let us see what we are going to consider now so area of triangle is what half what what is the base base here is the OA into height is CD because it is the perpendicular is less than area of sector also I have given theta by 2 into R square where theta is the angle and R is the radius so theta by 2 what is theta here x by 2 into r square r square means what o a square you can consider it as o a square is less than is less than area of again the bigger triangle is half base is o a into height is a b okay i hope so this much part is clear so further proof is very very simple or the common thing you can find in all these three equations is OA is the common thing which is the radius and the base as well so therefore divide by OA throughout divide by OA throughout which is 1 by 2 OA into CD is less than x by 2 OA square is less than 1 by 2 into OA into AB so all these parts we are going to divide by OA so simply this this I get cancelled square and this one get cancelled this and this gets cancelled so what we are remaining half CD is less than X by 2 OA is less than 1 by 2 into a B so this is the remaining equation now another thing what is common here is 1 by 2 so therefore we are going to multiply by 2 multiply 2 throughout multiply 2 
throughout so what we are going to get 2 into 1 by 2 cd is less than 2 into x by 2 oa is less than 1 by 2 ab into 2 so this 2 and this 2 cancels 2 into cancel 2 into cancel so the remaining <coughs> equation what we are going to get here cd is less than uh, x into oa is less than ab so consider this as equation 1 so this is the first equation from triangle from triangle OCD so this small triangle OCD from triangle OCD and from triangle OAB bigger triangle so this right angle triangle and another triangle is OAB so from these two triangles what we are going to consider now is from the first triangle we are going to consider sin x opposite upon hypotenuse so opposite here is cd divided by oc oc correct so from this triangle from triangle oab we are going to consider tan x tan x is what opposite upon adjacent so opposite is ab divided by adjacent is oa so if you observe here oc is equal to oa because radii radii of the same circle so therefore sin x is equals to cd divided by what is oc uh, oc ke badle mein we are replacing it by oa and uh, we are, this is tan x is equals to ab divided by oa as well now if you give a quick look at this equation 1 we are having two the two things that is cd and ab we don't know what they are so therefore cd here is equal to sin x into oa and ab is also missing over here so therefore ab is equals to tan x into oa so now we are going to replace the cd and ab value in equation 1 therefore it is going to be sin x into oa is less than x into oa is less than tan x into oa so again the common part what is there oa so divide throughout throughout by oa so what we are going to get now sin x is less than x is less than tan x okay so because oa oa gets cancelled all over going to divide by sin x sin x throughout sin x is less than x is less than tan x divided by sin x by sin x divided by sin x so therefore sin and sin cancels 1 is less than x divided by sin x will be less than 1 by cos x so this is your equation what you are getting so if you don't understand this step then uh, take a look here we have tan x divided by sin x so what tan means what tan is sin x divided by cos x into 1 by sin x you have again so 1 by sin x so sin x sin x cancel you are getting 1 by cos x so, uh, taking reciprocal of this above equation what we get is 1 sin x by x cos x so i did not write uh, less than or greater than whatever it is here because whenever you take reciprocal the signs interchange the signs interchange so that is now it is less than it becomes greater than okay so the both of the sign gets interchanged and it becomes greater than now the final step take limit as x tending to 0 out the equation so we are going to take limit as x tending to 0 throughout the equation and let's see what happens limit of x tending to 0 
वन इज ग्रेटर देन लिमिट ऑफ एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो साइन एक्स बाय एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन लिमिट एज एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो कॉस एक्स हियर दिस रिमेन्स वन इट सेल्फ इज ग्रेटर देन लिमिट एज एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो साइन एक्स बाय एक्स सो इफ यू सब्सिट जीरो ओवर हियर सो अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द for one itself so now here comes the main part where we are going to apply the sandwich theorem the sandwich theorem it states that the lower point and the higher point if both are equal uh, then the center uh, the central part whatever is there is equal to the same thing that is this is equal to one itself so therefore limit as x tending to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1